Well, in other news, Tranny Manis strikes Broadway and a uh, reject from the Barbie factory. He's in Ontario teaching your kids. I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this is What's Next. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Hey, what's up, guys? Jazz Gonzo here with another episode of What's Next. Of course, as always, your daily dose for common sense and facts. Well, just because you got the situation in Martha's Vineyard taken front page news doesn't mean the groomers have taken time off. One goes to Broadway. The other one is teaching your kids in Ontario. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breibart. First ever trans performer stars on Broadway. Ross takes lead in Chicago. The first ever trans performer to star on Broadway took the stage on Monday evening in the long-running musical Chicago Revival cast in the lead role of Roxy Hart. Ross, who was, I'm sorry, who is a man pretending to be a woman, has appeared in FSX, uh, Fox, FX's Pose and American Horror Story. Wow. The joke says, the joke writes itself. Made, made his debut as Roxy Hart on Monday and is set to perform on an eight week engagement at the Ambassador Theater in New York. Incidentally, the trans performer and co star, uh, Amra Faye Wright, stood on stage at the show's end to, and told the audience that their performances come as many people question the future of the United States and what this country stands for, according to a report by Axios. Monday night marks the first time that a musical has cast a trans performer as the lead. A female character has been played by a long list of prominent actresses, including Anne Reiking, Charlotte D'Amboise, D'Amboise, Melanie Griffith, Rita Wilson, Brooke Shields, and even Pamela Anderson. Ross is the latest man to erase a woman's presence in a role that had been traditionally held by women. Last year, Catalina Enriquez, a man who pretends to be a woman, won the title of Miss Nevada USA. Yes, and of course... That became a fucking joke and went on to become the first ever trans Miss USA contestant, but of course, finished dead last. Trans model, uh, this uh, guy named Valentina Sampaio and Lena Bloom have both appeared in Sports Illustrated and of course, killing the Sports Illustrated a swimsuit edition forever. Now, celebrity Big Brother star and trans model. Some guy named Alves is vying on to be the cover of Playboy magazine following a Brazilian butt lift surgery. Yes, a clown, a dude who got plastic surgery wants to be on the cover of Playboy. Jeez. Hugh Hefner is doing backflips in his grave. Oh, we go from that to this. Blaze Media. Canadian school standing behind trans shop teacher with enormous prosthetic breasts. Yes, the reject from the Barbie factory got attention. It went viral. And now the shit has hit the fan. Photos and videos of Canadian shop class teacher have sparked worldwide questions. The trans high school instructor with enormous prosthetic breasts went viral. The school in Ontario stands behind its male teacher with fake breasts and is bracing for the backlash. Oh, and it's coming. The individual is manufacturing technology instructor at Oakville Travagar High School in Oakville, Ontario. Video shows a teacher wearing black shorts and black striped shirt that is stretched to the max by the individual's large fake breasts. Video shows a trans teacher is teaching high school students how to use the circular saw during class. But um, courtesy lives, lives of TikTok. I'm sure there's audio, but do you really need it? Do you? <sighs> Photos posted online show the trans teacher wearing tight shirts and enlarged nipples poking through. Oakville Travagar High School is part of the Halton District School Board, which has a dress code for students. Quote, dress code must prevent students from wearing clothes that exposes or makes visible genitals and nipples. Halton District School Board declares the dress code also prohibits anything that portrays, 
pornography. The Toronto Sun reported pre-trans teacher was known to teachers as faculty as faculty as male, went by a man's name, but the teacher now identifies as a woman and refers to this with a female woman name. HDSB Chair Margot Shuttlesworth told the Toronto Sun that the district will protect the gender rights of employees and added the stance of the school the board is taking that they are standing behind their teeth. Yes, they're standing for the cause of trans men. Shuttlesworth stated, the teacher who is uh, to teach a shop is an extremely effective teacher. All the kids really love being in his class. Uh, she said the school has already received phone calls about the teacher that haven't been the most pleasant in nature. Shuttlesworth and the Halton District School Board are concerned that there will be backlash against the trans teacher when classes resume on Monday. Yes, there will be. And the staff are contemplating going through creating a, quote, safety plan. Yes, safe space to ensure that the teacher is safe. The Halton District School Board policy on gender identity and gender expressions in school, quote, the HDSB is committed to establishing and maintaining a safe, caring, inclusive, equitable diversity and welcoming learning and working environment for all members of the school community including students staff parents guardians community members who identify as perceived as here we go two-spirit queer trans one non-binary intersex and the other 17 billion genders that are made up on a daily basis <laughs> satan never takes a holiday he never does. Demons never take a holiday. Evil never takes a holiday. And uh, ignorance, stupidity, moronism. Yeah, they don't take holidays. 24 hours a day, 365 a year. So you have one guy who becomes the first woman to play... Uh, in a, you play the major lead in one of the country's oldest and most, well, it was respected at the time, uh, plays, and that is Chicago. Not anymore. It's right in the trash. Uh, so this will come and this will go. Why? Because no one gives two fucks. I know I didn't. But um, I thought I'd let you know. And the teacher in Ontario. Now, that is a more pressing issue because that dude dressed as a chick is affecting students' lives. Making it feel, making it sound, and making it look like it's, quote-unquote, the norm. And those of us with common sense and facts and, I don't know, brain cells know that it's not. So, the backlash is coming against the teacher. And, of course, the school district is preparing by putting him in a safe space. So instead of hearing common sense from, I don't know, parents, other faculty members, those outside of school, friends saying, hey, you know what? The guy's got a problem. He needs help. Looking like a Barbie reject doesn't help. It hurts. And, of course, the students are the ones that are going to pay for it. And I really hope that parents in Ontario step up and either one or two things are going to happen. They're going to go to the school board and basically have that dude removed or pull your kids out of that damn school as fast as possible. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.